Hey everyone, welcome back to another Shop Local. Today we're out at Flint Farms Honey. I'm here with Song Shan, thanks for having us. Hello. And uh, we're gonna go, uh, as you can see, we're in the bee suits. We're gonna go check out the bees shortly. But Song Shan, thanks for having us again. Uh, what got you guys into the honey business? Well, my husband goes through a lot of honey just by himself, like a one kilogram tub a week and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we used to go to our uncle's place um, in Saskatchewan and take boxes of them just to supply himself. So I thought, wow, well, I now have some bees. So yeah, then it was started eight years ago. And eight years ago? Yeah. Nice. So I don't know much about honey, so other than it's delicious. Um, what's the difference between pasteurized and unpasteurized? I've heard people talk about both. Yeah, um, for honey, I know like people here on pasteurized, pasteurized raw, like related to milk as well. I know yeah. dairy, you would like to pasteurize it, but honey, you don't. So raw honey is actually better. Oh, really? It just means uh, you've never been filtered or heat it so all the natural health benefits are still in there okay so yeah you definitely would like to have raw unpasteurized honey so raw and pasteurized both just means the all the health benefits are still there and so you guys collect all the honey on site which i think we're gonna go see shortly yeah and you like you package it and everything right here as well yeah yeah we just uh, do it on the farm we have a honey bee shop and then yeah i do most uh bottling and selling and, okay yeah Nice. Right here. So. <laughs> nice. So besides honey, what other products do you guys have? I've seen candles before, but what all do you have for products? So we have 13 different kinds of honey, like cinnamon honey, lemon honey, strawberry honey, raspberry oh, wow. honey, coconut honey. Uh, we do, um, I make lotion and okay. lip balms with our honey and beeswax. And then anything about bees, we have bee pollen, propolis, and honeycomb, and honey oh, wow. sticks. and. Yeah, you, yeah, I ever think about bees, we'll have a little ton of it. <laughs> yeah. is, is there any kind of really different way to take honey besides, you know, spreading it or, or having like a, a solidified honey? Like, is there some really unique way that you guys have found that's really cool to eat honey or? Well, our thing is popcorn in our family. Popcorn? So See. actually one way we use our cinnamon honey is just melt it with butter in the microwave. Oh wow. And my husband actually, have a decent uh, ice cream pail that's called his popcorn pail. So he melts <laughs> this and drizzle on top of the popcorn. Oh, nice. And so instead of butter, you're doing it with kind of the cinnamon and but honey. Together, one together. to one ratio. And nice. then we drizzle on top, we just eat it with spoon. I think I could get into that. That'd yeah. be really good. But you can cook with it. You can, you know, like we have coconut honey. Right. So you can stir fry with your shrimp oh, neat. or chicken. It's really yeah. versatile. Yeah, I, well, I have lots of honey, so I have to become creative, <laughs> guys. And our customers do help us. Uh, they oh, neat. always tell me how they use our honey. What's some neat facts about bees that people probably wouldn't know? So one thing I've always find very amazing is like for one honeybee, like little honeybee in its whole life, it can only produce a quarter teaspoon of honey. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so for me, yeah, it's just like that. every time, you know, my kids drip some honey on the table, I'm like, hey, that's two bees work on, right? So, wow. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing one little incredible. bee, only like a quarter of a teaspoon. So you guys must continuously be bringing bees in then all the time. We, my husband has been trying to just rear our own queens. Or oh, get your own going, like, okay. So it's like more local queens. Right. We find it's more adapted to the weather here. I think that's all I've got for questions. So sounds good. should we go check yeah. out the bees? Sounds good, yeah. So here with Jason. Jason's the other half of Flint Farms Honey. And this is like a sample of a beehive, right? Yeah, this is one frame. And in my brood boxes, which are the bottom on a on a hive that's the bottom two boxes is what i do okay and then everything above that is the honey super for collecting the honey but this is what the bees live in so how many bees would be in, in something like this at once roughly there's four thousand cells holy right cow on that side but there's some larva there that is not capped they'll cap it and what you know like they feed it put a capping over it and then when it's uh, mature it chews its way out and it'll they're essentially looking just like a honeybee all right, so we're back. We're at the actual bee farm where, the, as you can see, the bees are in their little, I'm calling these the bee condos. And we're gonna go check out some actual honey. So the bees live in the bottom then and the honey's in the top is what Songshan was saying. So the bottom two boxes are called brood boxes. Okay. So year round, that's where they are. They're busy working away right now, building comb and filling it with nectar. And so you were saying a little bit earlier, your typical time to collect most of the honey is July, August, is that right? Yeah, there has been a couple of early years where I would start in in June, okay. like late June, but it kind of depends how many honey supers you have. If you're running out, then you need to 
extract so that you have empty boxes to put back on the hives. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see the honey in there. So you'll be able to see nectar. And so they will finish building that all out fairly thick and then they'll put a white capping of wax over top of it. So you can see that the cells slope downwards. If you take it and shake it like that, you'll get some nectar coming out. And so it's pretty much just water. Huh. Like, you know, like it's yeah. not sticky. It's, it is it is just like water. It is just like water. I, I don't know what the ratio is. I think they have to collect 12 pounds of nectar to get one pound of honey. Really? And so how much honey would you get out of what you guys have here? Like how many pounds, I guess? My average would be between, well, right around 300 pounds. Wow. Per hive. Thanks, Jason, for having us out today. And uh, this was really educational and really neat. If you guys are ever looking for some good honey, Flint Farms honey, you guys have a website, Song Shannon Sand. That's right. You're on social media as well. Yep. And also the Lloyd Farmers Market, right? Yeah. Perfect. Be sure to stop by and get some.